In the fifth module of the classroom management course, we discuss about class meetings. Class meetings is a special technique developed in Yana Prabodhini for classroom management. Why do we conduct class meetings and how do we conduct them? Let us understand that in this part. Class meetings are conducted in a very informal style. Generally, as teachers, we interact with students in a very formal setting in the class. In a class meeting, we need to break this formality. So we make an attempt to take the children out of the class and make a small circle with them and sit down in an informal setting, maybe in the school hall or maybe under some tree in the school campus or on the school ground or in some corner of the classroom itself. When you are seated like this in a circle with the children around you, automatically it creates an atmosphere of openness and uh, then the meeting is held in a very, very democratic manner. A class committee of the class is decided, mostly it is elected from among the students and this class committee has a head. He is called the head of the class committee. He will lead the class meeting. That child will initiate some topics for the class meeting. Sometimes the other students in the class also raise some topics. These topics are discussed at length in the class meeting. Sufficient time is given for every child to speak. All the children are given opportunity to speak at least turn by turn. Everything is heard out and then the class head passes his decision about the issue that has been discussed. These issues may be trivial happenings in the school. Sometimes maybe the gathering of the school has just been held and the class meeting discusses about the happenings in the gathering. What was right in the school gathering? What was wrong? What came out really very well? Where did we fail to perform on stage? All this can be discussed with the children in a class meeting. Sometimes the class meetings can be about more serious issues like misbehavior in class, Say suppose there are some groups of children who fight a lot in the class. This can be taken up as a topic for discussion in the meeting. So students can list out their ideas, they can bring out their creativity in solving these little problems in the class and we can create an atmosphere of collective decision making through these class meetings. It is very very important to create a we feeling in the class. As a result of these class meetings, a collective sense of responsibility is created in the class. The students start feeling that we all are together responsible for the happenings in the class. And what else do we want as teachers? Class meetings are extremely important. The role of the class teacher in class meetings is also equally important. As far as possible, the class teacher should be an observer in the class meetings. You can see really new facets of the children's personality in the class meeting. The way they talk, the way they express themselves, the way they think, the way they take decisions will help you understand the children much, much better rather than observing them in a typical learning environment in a class. Class meetings will give you a deep insight into the personalities of different children in the class. Of course, you can always intervene with a short speech in between if you feel you want to intervene in the discussion and you should always conclude the class meeting with a little short speech of two to five minutes. Do not give very long speeches. Do not get on a moral instruction mode. Leave the decisions to the children. Leave the onus upon the children. Just conclude with your ideas, congratulate them, appreciate them for good ideas and help better the environment, help create a positive atmosphere in the class meeting. How frequently should class meetings be conducted? The answer is actually as frequently as possible. Ideal frequency would be once a week, but minimum frequency for class meetings should be once in 15 days. The class teacher should sit down peacefully with the classmates once in every 15 days to discuss the happenings in the class, in the school. We may discuss about the exams that have taken place recently and how the class has performed in the exams. Was the performance good enough? What do we need to do together to improve the performance in the next exam? If you speak to the children in this manner, it will create an atmosphere of democracy in your school and you will see wonderful results in the students very soon. 
So conduct maximum class meetings in your class and report to us about them and enjoy being the class teacher. Thank you.